Welcome back to Spectrum of the Arts. The summer break is often thought to be a time to kick back, relax, and do the vacation thing. Such is not the case for many Pinellas County School teachers who take the opportunity to improve their classroom skills by taking advantage of the wide variety of training sessions offered each year. Osceola Fundamental High School was the site of some of the sessions where district art teachers honed their digital art skills by learning the use of the latest applications and best lab practices. Julie Levesque explains the goals set for the course. This training is bringing together the secondary teachers that have some sort of digital arts lab. So they might have an iPad lab or they might have um, a, a lab of Mac computers and they're sharing ideas of things that they've done in their lab but and also gaining information uh, from the other teachers. It's a way of us directing them to the resources that we have online, um, sharing lessons, um, troubleshooting problems that they've had before, um, and just trying to get teachers excited about technology and comfortable with it. I personally think that digital art is something that the kids are really interested in these days. They're really excited about it. Um, there's one course of this being offered at the school and it's more of an upper level course. Uh, so the kids have taken several art courses prior to taking this course and are very interested in it and uh, want to know more about digital art. You know, there's a lot of digital applications that are very similar to um, traditional media, like there's, there's interfaces for painting and drawing, etc. But I think that the, the biggest thing that has so much potential is that with the digital applications, you can really take that and, and enhance what you can do in the traditional media and combine the two. So it gives you a lot of opportunity for more mixed media um, applications and, and um, things of that nature. I had a few students last year in my AP class that were much more proficient digitally than in the traditional media, which I thought was really interesting because you would think that it would be very, very similar, which I think in some respects it is, but um, for those two individuals, they seemed much more comfortable uh, drawing on you know, a digital tablet versus you know, traditional um, paper and pencil. There's nothing like being in your classroom and using technology firsthand. And you can read every tutorial you want, watch anything you want, but until you're in there with 40 students asking you questions and having things happen at the same time, you don't know what kind of issues you're going to come across. So by getting the teachers together and having them share their experience, it, it's just the, it's a learning tool that we couldn't provide otherwise. A lot of the art teachers in there have used uh, a digital lab before and um, I'm learning a lot from the different applications that they find really helpful in their classrooms um, and I'm just sitting back and listening and taking notes and really excited about taking their knowledge and you know, incorporating it with my own ideas. This is going to be my second year teaching in the county and they're very, very supportive of the arts, which I think is a, is a huge, huge thing. Um, between the art shows and the community involvement, um, I feel very blessed to have the opportunity to teach in a county like this that supports the arts so much. At first it was difficult, just because I didn't know how to use the iPads, what was going to be entertaining for the students, what was going to keep them interested. So just learning how to utilize the iPad lab and how to keep track of everything and making sure that the students were engaged in what they were doing. Uh, the reason I'm here is because I want to make sure that my classroom is entertaining and in a positive way so that it's educational and entertaining. So learning how to do new projects on the iPads and constantly having something new for the students to do instead of doing the same thing over and over again, I think this training is definitely going to help with that. Once you start working in digital, uh, in the digital format, a lot of the skills that you learn in one program transfer to another. Uh, so once you know how to copy something or rotate something or add a layer, it really does kind of um, go across, uh, across to the other programs. I have to say I did change my opinion. At first I wasn't a huge fan of digital art, but now I think it is really important and you can see how involved and engaged the students get and this is the world that they're growing up in with all the technology so I think it's great to see how beneficial all of it is for them. 
all of us have different experience with the iPads, whether it's teachers that are just now getting them or teachers who've had them for five years or just one year, but ch sharing our experience with what we know, what apps are apps that our students like, what are the ones that have the best functions for what we're trying to do, and just learning together so we can all be successful as teachers in Pinellas County. Um, teachers can purchase apps um, through art um, funding if there's like a certain app that they really want that wasn't installed on the iPad. Um, so basically that's it. We provide most of the applications and the training for those applications. For applications, I wanted to say I spend a lot of time online looking for them. Um, Jonathan does a great job of finding apps for us and he'll send an email and be like, hey, we have this great app that's free right now or we have this new one that just came out if you're interested. You know, go ahead and download it onto your iPads or they'll help us find apps if we need it. Um, if we need a specific use for one, they'll help us find it. So personally, I wouldn't say I spend a lot of time looking for iPads just because we have so many resources and we already have a bunch of awesome apps downloaded on the iPads. The training, so much of the time, especially the training that we provide with technology, is to help the teachers easily use the technology. Sometimes we can get, when we're given, say, an, an iPad or we're given a new computer, sometimes we spend a lot of time trying to learn that, that um, piece of equipment. And so by providing the training, the immediate training, so when the teachers are in the classroom, they're not having to spend the time to figure out how to use that. So that, again, expediates the use of it. They also, uh, one of the things that we've done is, is to really train them collaboratively. So say a, a, a training where there's 20 teachers in the room, you know, one might be an expert on this particular app or one might be an expert on this particular application or this particular piece of the equipment. And when they collaboratively share like that, you, you know, you really, teachers walk away so motivated because not only are we having the training for them, but we're also gathering information from their expertise and honoring them for what they have, um, they have to offer each other. Spectrum of the Arts will continue in a moment with our look at some of the other technology training going on in Pinellas County Schools classrooms. So please stay with us.